what's going on guys well here we go again yet another hobby that's probably what I should have named my channel way back in the day yet another hobby because I have yet another hobby uh, and that is EDC tops or pocket tops um, it's just what you think it is it's basically spinning tops okay as part of your EDC now the idea here is to have something that's outside of staring at your cell phone okay it's something to kill some time if you're waiting somewhere or doing something um, a way to kill time that's not electronic okay I know the number one way to kill time when you're sitting somewhere is to stare at your cell phone play a cell phone video game go on one of your apps you know post something on Instagram you know check up your Twitter account whatever you're doing we all do it right but this is this is cool this is old school you know what I mean this is what people used to use to kill time mostly kids obviously it is a toy uh, originally um, and still is but um, this is growing some steam this is a, a new thing this is a thing believe it or not if you never heard of this like I never heard of it this is a thing and there's thousands of people who are into um, very high-end custom-made pocket EDC tops now these are not very high-end custom <laughs> EDC tops um, let me start from the beginning I was recently watching a video about a week ago um, about two weeks ago and uh, the suggested video on the side column there from YouTube they said hey guess what Jeff you might want to check these videos out and one of those videos was uh, a video from Jim Skelton and if you're not familiar with Jim Skelton you gotta go sub to his channel watch his videos he has uh, probably the nicest custom knife collection that I've ever seen in my life um, he is very much into high quality cutlery and I mean thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of beautiful custom knives so if you're into that thing if you're really into the high-end stuff must uh, watch channel um, but Jim posted a video on EDC tops and I'm gonna link you to that exact video in the description box so you can see what I saw it's got a lot of steam it's got like 170,000 plus views on it um, must have been posted you know somewhere online for people to see and, and but hey it was suggested to me I saw it and I thought what what uh, an EDC top what is an EDC top right I was very curious so I, I clicked on the video I watched it and I was completely like blown away I'm like people really get into this stuff huh so then I spent about six hours after that um, researching EDC tops and looking all in you know into spinning tops and especially the custom stuff now what you're looking at here are three very simple very affordable these are sub $20 tops uh, that I got on Amazon and eBay now in the world of EDC tops you're talking mostly some custom work you're talking custom laid stuff custom CNC pieces uh, that take many hours to make uh, a lot of them you're using exotic materials um, you know mixtures of brass and titanium and you know moku tie and all like all this crazy stuff Damascus ones and the prices range anywhere from like sixty dollars on the low end all the way up to 150 or 200 bucks all right now all things considered if you're one of these guys that carry you know a four or five hundred dollar knife on you yeah what's a hundred fifty dollar top as well you know what I mean if you're into the high-end gear it goes across the board all of your gear is high-end you might have a hundred dollar keychain you know what I'm saying or you know a two hundred and fifty dollar pocket tool or something so it's all relevant um, but for me you know I obviously carry a variety of gear uh, expensive as well as inexpensive and these are three tops that I've been having fun with and they're all very inexpensive now the idea the concept behind this whole thing and especially the custom tops is that these people are really uh, I mean a lot of custom makers are now starting to make custom tops and attention to detail is just amazing on these things they're extremely well balanced they have you know different contact points the, the point that's actually touching your surface while it's spinning they have like you know ceramic ball bearings in there and um, you know all kinds of crazy different materials that's really upping their performance of a top now when you take a standard wooden top or like a dreidel or something you can give it a good spin and maybe it'll spin for like 30 or 40 seconds you know and that's cool and everything but some of these some of these custom tops I mean they are built for performance not only do they look beautiful but they will spin upwards of five minutes 10 minutes some of these things are spinning for 20 minutes on a single spin that is amazing that is basically perfecting engineering you're taking a very simple idea and you're perfecting it and I think half of this um, half of the passion for these tops that people are getting are because they're just so beautiful to look at and play with the other half of it is a competition 
you know, who's got the top that spins the longest? You know what I mean? And men specifically, we love competition. And a lot of people in the gear community, yeah, there tends to be this, uh, you know, unspoken competition. Oh, you got a cool knife? Guess what? My knife's cooler, you know? Oh, nice keychain. Guess what? I got the titanium version of that. You know what I mean? There's always this, like, weird competition going on. Shouldn't really exist. It just naturally happens in men. Everyone wants to have the best of everything, you know? It's kind of a stupid you know, masculine thing that we do, but it happens, you know? So the whole, the spinning top community, that's kind of what it, what it's going on is what looks the nicest and what spins the longest, you know? It's just really interesting. Uh, at first, people are going to think that's really stupid. And you know what? A lot of people watching this video are still going to think that is really stupid. I have people that tell me that it's ridiculous to spend, you know, more than $30 on a knife. They are certainly not going to enjoy the idea of spending $200 on a pocket top so yeah that, that should be no surprise however uh, I'm completely sucked in um, I will say I'm not going to start spending that kind of money on pocket tops although I do uh, have a, a custom maker that is going to make me some tops so I can show you some you know better performance ones some some better looking ones some actual custom work okay you will see that in a future video but as far as me and the money I'm spending, I did invest in a couple cheaper tops. Uh, this is the top from the movie Inception, if you guys have seen that movie. So that mimics that. And it sucks. You know, it, it's not, doesn't have good grip or anything. It's just, it was a, a prop, you know, sold after the movie came out. So was, people were interested in buying tops. They made a bunch of them. You can find this thing for like five bucks on eBay or uh, Amazon or, or so forth. Uh, then this one's the tippy top. This is completely different. I can't even give you a demo here because I don't have a large enough surface. But when you spin this, it goes out of whack and gets all crazy and actually spins and turns itself upside down and starts spinning on its uh, little handle here, which is very interesting. Um, so a little bit of science going on with that one. But this is my, my favorite little top out of the three. This one just works really well. This was bought on eBay. And I pay like 15 bucks for this. And uh, it's got a little knurling on here, so it's easy to grip. It's got a nice fine point. This does not have like a ceramic ball or anything in there. But I can get this to spin for five minutes. Five minutes straight on a good spin. I have a little uh, cosmetic mirror here that I borrowed from the wife. So it makes a good little surface because it's nice and smooth. And it's also eight times magnification, so it's concave. So if it tries to ride off the side, it'll actually go back towards the middle here. But if I give this a little spin for you... You can see, and that wasn't even a good spin, that thing will spin and spin and spin and spin. It's a little mesmerizing, especially on a mirror, so you can see the bottom, you know, part of the uh, the top. I don't know what the allure is, but I am sucked in. I am like fully into this. Um, maybe it's because it's different. Maybe because it's unique. Maybe it's just the next thing. We're always kind of looking for something new to change it up, you know? Uh, I will always have a passion for knives and gear and all, all that kind of stuff, but it's new. I think that's kind of what it is. It's kind of new to me, so it's exciting. I don't know if uh, three years from now I'm going to be as excited as pocket EDC tops as I am today, but I'll tell you something right now. Right now, it is very exciting to me. So, uh, yeah. Just keeps going and going and going. Like the Energizer Bunny from the 90s. I don't, I don't think I've seen the Energizer Bunny on TV in a long time. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is a really crappy, wobbly spin, but it's amazing. It's just simple, simple engineering, simple concept here. But we you know what's really cool about this is that it is a time killer. And I can imagine if you have a custom top that spins for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, um, you know, you're going to watch it for 15 minutes and you're going to time your spins. And, and guess what? You're going to want to try it again. So that's another 15 minutes and then you're going to try it again. Maybe another 15 minutes or, or let's say seven or eight minutes or whatever. And you keep trying and trying. When I got this top, I spent about two and a half hours just trying to time the spins. Talk about a time killer, you know, absolutely amazing. So this may be completely stupid to you. It may be uh, very interesting. And, um, you know, that's what it was for me. It was very interesting. So I'm kind of getting into it. I don't know how long this is going to last as far as the, the interest, but uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so I changed the angle here so you guys can uh, see how this one spins. This is how I'm going to leave the video to this spinning, mesmerizing you to some uh, mediocre copyright-free music, probably. Um, just to give you an idea of what a cheap one could do, you can only imagine what a beautiful, well-balanced, uh, highly detailed custom one is capable of.